guess I'll just start. Okay. Hey everyone, in this episode of 62 HP, we're gonna be working with this little system here that I'm calling the contextual effects processor. It's designed to be a collection of super versatile and fun modules that you can pair up with any sort of external synthesizer or groove box or whatever you might have around and manipulate it and do a bunch of crazy fun stuff. This system combines more traditional effects like reverbs and distortions, as well as digital glitchy effects, and puts it all under voltage control to get some interesting dynamic effects processing magic. Cool, okay. Obviously, for a system based around processing external sources, getting your audio in and out of the system is crucial. To bring things in and boost them up to your rack level, we've got two mutable instruments ears placed on either side of the case. And for going out, we've got the stereo line out from IntelliGel. In terms of the actual effects we're using, we've got the cinnamon from Bastille, a state variable filter, the endorphins Milky Way, a cool multi-effects module that packs in reverbs, delays, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff in just 6 HP. And it's also stereo, which is super nice. Then we have the Katowice from Chaos Devices, a cool stereo EQ and multiband isolator. We have the Data Bender from Qubit, a cool digital glitch effect machine. And at the top, we've also got the Guillotine, a super gnarly distortion from Ritual Electronics. We have the Harlequin's Context, the new module from Shackmat that combines a bunch of different modulation sources into a four channel interface. We have the pip slope from ALM, which offers us another channel of envelope generators. We have the handy force sensitive resistor, as well as the quadrat to serve as a handy audio and CV mixer, and a Pico VCA from Erica Synths. <laughs> Now, modular is fun because not only do we have access to super slick oscillators, effects, and the like, but also interesting control voltage generators. That's where the real magic lies in putting together a system like this. At the center of our setup here is the Harlequin's Context, a four channel source of LFOs, random voltages, offsets, and more. But what's cool about this module is that it stores channel configurations in scenes, and we can scan or step through different scenes with the CV and gate inputs. For example, if we look at channel one, you'll see that I have it set up as a variety of LFOs across the four scenes, changing rate and waveform as I change scenes. I can manually select a scene with the buttons at the bottom, but personally, I love to automate and address the scenes with control voltage. So while we call this system the contextual effects processor, you don't actually need an external source to have fun with it. One of the reasons I chose ears as the input source is because it has contact mics built into it. So tapping on the module itself, or even just patching in other things, will get you some weird and interesting results. Katowice feedback. The what feedback? Katowice? That's how you pronounce it. I googled it. I can't 
go out here making us look bad. So while it may not be the flashiest module, the Katowice from Chaos Devices is actually a key member of this system. It plays a vital role in sculpting sounds coming into the system, as well as shaping anything you might already have going on internally. One specific thing I like to use the Katowice for is processing sounds before running it into the data bender. What this allows me to do is cut out any sort of low end that would get too muddy upon glitching out anything. Let us know down in the comments how you like to use your Eurorack system for pro effects processing. Not processing effects, because the effects are doing the processing. Okay, all right, cool. That was a fun one.